you, 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 you know what time it is. Boom Shaka Laka! Today. All day. <laughs> exactly. It's a great day to boom shakalaka, everybody in the Cedar Valley. Mm-hmm. Yes. Welcome, beautiful people, to Miss Rocky and Shaviva Live because you know there's always something good happening on the North End and, and then everywhere, everywhere else, else in, in the, the Cedar, Cedar Valley. Valley. For and sure. You know this, Felicia. Always yes. do. And you know this, <laughs> and that. I do. All mm-hmm. right. We got some great guests today, Shaviva. Yes, we absolutely do. We have Annette Lynch. And she's going to be talking to us about shift. Yes. Yes. You'll find out about it later. (laughs) And it's spelled kind of funny because I was trying to type it and stuff and I kept almost not getting it correct. (laughs) Getting it (laughs) incorrect. So, yes, shift. And Felicia? Yes, we have Felicia Smith Knowles. She is going to talk to us about shift. any number. Shift. Yes, shift. Mm-hmm. Any shift. number and of wonderful she's things. In for joy. Yes. Yes, that's yes. right. Right. And we have also our awesome, did I say awesome? Co host, oh, thank you. Lori Dale. Who is that lady? <laughs> that's your she mama. Might look a little familiar that's to Joe. You. Joe Mama. <laughs> Joe Mama. Hi, Joe Mama. Uh, <laughs> so, so. Okay, we want to make sure that you holler at us because we know when Zion says you, 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 you know what that means, right? That means you, 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 and you. That's all right. of you guys that are out there, <laughs> and the rest of y'all are virtually square, and you should be here. So exactly, if you're not virtually here, you're virtually square. So this uh, today we've been asking, we want to talk to you, Lori, first off. We want to ask you what has been really good at UNIQ and, oh, and in your so job. So many great things. I know you've been awful busy leaving oh, our critique mm-hmm. meetings early and stuff. And yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tell so, us. So one great thing, we have a program called Shine. It's a conference that's coming up. It's all for young ladies. And it's, are you in that? In that what, did we ask you to do that? No, but I'll do it. <laughs> next, next year, we'll make sure we get okay, you in. Okay. But this is a way for us to pour into our young ladies and encourage them to do well in school and also give them mentors. And Oh, Felicia, I you're am. part of it. I am. Yes. Oh, okay. And it's going to be at the Blacks Building uh, next week. I'm not sure of the date. Tuesday. But, mm-hmm. but it's already set. We have the students that, that are going to do it. It's going to be a great experience. And this so. is with uh, Classic Upward Bound. And talent Search. Oh, Educational Talent Search. Talent. Educational Talent I get, let me tell you, I'm a little bougie okay. when it yes, comes yes, to yes, that. Yes, we yes, are not yes. Classy Upward Bound. Oh. I respect them, but we oh, you are, are Educational Talent, talent Search. search. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Talent. I know, okay. <laughs> I stand And it is really there. talented kids yes. that are in it's this program. Because I work with them, and they're... they're they're rocket scientists. All yes. right. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, I love you. Although my that. son is a part of Upward Bound and not Talent Search, mm-hmm. and I'm very happy that he oh, is. Oh, they're both mm-hmm. great programs. Exactly. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, well, we just want to remind our birthday people to stick around. We got a great show lined up for you today, and you're going to have your birthday. Ooh, we got Felicia Smith. No, that's Ooh, yes, we do. Why do you always do that to me? So yes. we're going to get a real birthday song this <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, no, 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 the right. birthday so birthday one. Let's make it so <laughs> Yeah, so stick around for that. And we got some great birthday people, including me, because my birthday is all month. Okay. Oh, I know everybody's oh. tired of it, right? Okay. Just and so we cool. also have our, our new hashtag called Get Get what, give, what it it? give it air. Give it air. Stick right. around for that conversation. Yes, because yes. that's all about American history in mm-hmm. February, and it'll be American history in March and American history in April. So we're going to do a lot of there black history, but make sure you stay tuned. We had a great show last week, Shabiba. Yes, we absolutely did. We had Jamisia Young and Juliet Dunn, and we really had some great um, pre show guests. Yes, we had Omar well. LaFleur and um, uh, Josh Bumgarner. Sharing a story that with us great. about, oh, yeah, that was really good. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. and that show, I think, had over 2,000 views by the time I looked last time. <laughs> yes, it that was, was a, just going woo! to town. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and if we you saw. haven't seen that, yes, yes. All right, so now we're going to talk about our American history segment. 
Yes. And it's called Give It Air because exposure is the best disinfectant. Come on. Mm-hmm. Some people may beg to differ, though. You know, <laughs> some people, you know, you want to keep that stuff under covers, but sometimes it's best to air it out. Most definitely. So the House of Representatives just made lynching a federal crime mm. just two days ago. Yes. Yeah. After mm. 120 years. Yes. After that time. That long. Boom. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, you know. So it it has failed to pass an anti lynching legislation 200 times uh, since 1900, 120 years, yeah. and four people voted to, to against, against it. Against it. That's right. Three Republicans and one independent. Uh-huh. Wow. On whatever grounds. Mm-hmm. Um, our friend Pat Kenny, who often chimes in and tells us different information about these things. We love Pat. Um, he we shared do. some information on her, our wall from a 1948 New York Times article. And I quote, President Truman requested Congress today. This is President Truman. This is 1948, okay? President Truman requested Congress today to implement his policy of civil rights offering a 10-point program to outlaw lynching and Jim Crow practices to establish a nationwide federal system of monitoring civil liberties and to take other affirmative steps to increase the protection and dignity of the individual. Right. Pat also said President Truman was the first U.S. president to address the National Convention of the NAACP in 1947. Wow. And he did it on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial where MLK uh, did his famous I Have a Dream speech. So, yeah, 16 years later, uh, MLK did the I Have a Dream speech. Mm -hmm. So this is just a man from independence put his finger to the wind when it came to justice, is what Pat Kennedy said. Mm -hmm. And we certainly appreciate all of his input because Pat Kennedy, Pat Kennedy is a great historian. Yes, Mm -hmm. yes. And he has a lot of, a plethora of information and thank you for sharing that with us, Pat. But how do you feel about that? I mean, my thing is, did it really take 120 years? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. No, really that, <laughs> that was wrong. That you're not supposed really to lynch wrong. people. That, right. I mean, you know. Exactly. Right. It becomes a federal crime now. Why wasn't it then, you know? Yes, but, all the people, uh, yes. Zion, we have some comments. Yes, you do. Charles Jefferson says, hey, y'all, love y'all. Oh. <laughs> love you, Charles. We can and feel also, it. Yes, Charles. You you all are a part of the black history in Waterloo. Thank you all for the contributions. Oh, Aww. bless you. Thank you Thank so you. very much. You know, yeah. as as we prepped some of the video stuff, I've been looking at the newspaper articles about lynchings oh, yes. and the postcards mm-hmm. and I think that it was they I didn't understand like you know how you hear about things but it's not until you do that deep dive mm-hmm. that people would send postcards yeah. of, of lynchings actual, yes. of mm-hmm. actual people yep. yes. and I thought about how what would you you, you wouldn't send a postcard of a dead animal no, no. Not you now. wouldn't send a postcard but to send that that these were mementos and mm. and and that life was that valueless mm-hmm. that it was sport yeah. and so seeing that now in 2020 oftentimes black history people think it's like ancient history like they Thank don't you. realize not that that, years that ago. dr yeah. king if he were alive would be the same age, age as barbara Wal- walters walters right, right or yeah. even the little girls that were killed in the bombing in the oh, church, yeah, the church bombing. they would be my mother's age. Mm-hmm. Right. And so in our mind, like people oftentimes think black history, well, come on, you you don't really feel the effects of oh, that. Oh, my. When yes, that just my mother can really talk about, well, anybody that's lived here yes. can talk about a time in Waterloo, mm-hmm. in a northern place mm-hmm. where black people couldn't go everywhere. So our history is so important. And another thing, our history is not just important to us. Right. It's black American history, history is American, American history. history. Yeah. That's what the 1619 project was so yes. much about. Yes. 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 So that's why we history. want to give it some air. Yes. yes. Because give these it things air. That, yes. that we don't often get an opportunity to talk about and certainly that are not taught 
generally speaking, in school. If we don't talk about them and make some kind of mention to it and give it some air, That's then right. who's going to know? Yes. That's right. right. That's awesome. Exactly. Well, thank you, for because we really need to bring some of that stuff that really needs disinfecting out. Mm -hmm. And your strange fruit... Um, uh, I won't, don't want to say performance, but uh, art mm -hmm. performance it's be art mm -hmm. is going to be really kind of touch on that. So people Mitchell need singing. to go out and see that. So tomorrow yes. night, yes. tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Yes. Wow. Yes, and this this show will be aired again next week. So we usually don't do a lot of um, like. Current, timely yes. things mm -hmm. but just just because this is so awesome we want you to know that tomorrow night if you're watching it today is this and mm -hmm. agnes is always yes, so ready agnes, with, with 6 p.m free open to the public don't miss it right. at west high school right right doors open at five five thirty but we're gonna start right at six all right. Thank you, okay. Zion. Thank you, Agnes. Okay, so we're going to talk about our supporters. You know all about the people that love to support Rocky Shaviva North End Update? Um, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Everybody. Right, because right. it makes us all look good. So That's everybody, right. have, you have to inbox us. Let us know that you want to be a supporter. We could come to your business and help you look good, and we could just, like, you know, exchange that That's favor. Right. Who do we have for supporters? Lori? Oh, okay. <laughs> put her on the spot. She put me on the spot. <laughs> yes, she did. Okay, uh, here we go. Here's what's popping mm -hmm. at 206 East 4th Street. Gourmet pop uh, popcorn, old school candies, tasty hot dogs, soups, and sandwiches. Treat yourself. Yes. Have you been there? Mm -hmm. Downtown Waterloo mm -hmm. yes. is always yes. one of the hot dogs and the candy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm yes. going to come support you. And, and then, go ahead. Ferguson. Team Real Estate. Oh, did you see that video that he put out? I know, yes. yes. It is awesome. Yes. I watch it over and over. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> yes. Okay, if you're looking for to buy or sell, contact them. Travis is looking for real estate agents. No, he's agents. not. He's, he's not, not looking for no. He's got Waterloo. too many already. Okay. <laughs> Missed your chance, folks. <laughs> Sorry. No. But if you need yeah. to contact him, though. But contact The area code is 515-661-1202. That's oh, right. Wow. And we also have Educational Talent Search. <laughs> 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 Get yourself an education. Go ahead and do it. And because FAFSA, education is FAFSA, FAFSA, FAFSA. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Mm, mm. And scholarships, scholarships, scholarships. Right. Okay. Right now. See me. And we also have Educational Opportunity Center, EOC, at 800 Woo! Sycamore Street. Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. My sister program. Need. Okay, and we have Banneker Watches. Uh -huh. It's a Banneker, not a stopwatch, because we never stop. Oh, look at it. my great voice, right? There you go. <laughs> also, we want to shout out to Royal Legacy Christian Academy, our partners in education. Encourage mm -hmm. you to give year round because, you know, it takes $500 a month. And the average student there only pays 50 because we need those, those funds to keep the school up and running. Mm -hmm. So give to rlcawaterloo.org. Yes, we also want to shout out. All of the men who read to students at Cunningham School. Yes! yes. Cunningham yes. School for Excellence during Black Men Read Week. And yes. to educator Sharita Stokes for yes. organizing yes. this. That was you awesome. Go, girl, you rock. Yes. It was awesome. That's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of people stepped up to do all of that. And who else do we need to shout out? Zion. Yes. And who Zion. else? And, 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 and Agnes. Agnes. Yes. Yes. Our yes. wonderful crew here at yes. WCT. They Making rock. us look good every Friday. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay, now we don't know about you, um, Annette, but we always have to ask everybody this really, really strange question <laughs> <laughs> that just drops out of the she galaxy. She might say yes. Hey, oh, Annette might know. Yeah. Annette so yes. cool. she, she, might. she might. She might. Do you subscribe, subscribe to, to the Soul <laughs> <laughs> I need to, I think. Yes, you okay, do. Right. you do. Yes, and look at do. that handsome Inspe man. Thank you. Especially look at this handsome picture on the cover. I yes. know, right? Yes. Wow. Hot dog. I want it, I want it <laughs> only cute. Yep. Yes. Our friend, Big Q of Big Q, we need you. He is a, um, a advice columnist in this publication. An entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, ready. doctoral student. There you yes. go. Yes. About to get yes. that PhD. Yes. 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 Woo! Woo! Mm -hmm. 
Doing so yeah, thing. you need to go to get your subscription at thesoultown.com. And when you do, you can watch it virtually. Um, I mean, you can actually flip through the pages. They're real flippable. And look at there. You can yes. actually press play. Press play. <laughs> <laughs> that and Agnes watch is the too show. Much. She is awesome. Yes. Yeah, so oh. uh, go to thesoultown.com and make sure you do that, Annette. Because yes, next time you come on the show, we're gonna we're gonna know that you said yes. I'm gonna say yes. 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 And you okay. need to meet Big Q. Yes. You need to meet you him. Would. Okay. You would love him. He's a, he has a store Clothing with clothing. Store. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I need to. I need to. This is this is me. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. You're all about all that life. You're always helping and doing things with the new program. Why don't you talk a little bit about yourself, Annette? Tell us where did how did you get involved with well, the show? Joy, of course. Joy. Um, yes. Joy um, approached me um, several years ago when she moved back to um, Waterloo, and wanted my um, students in my class to help with the annual. Um, BSU fashion show. So and talk been, about your class. I mean, what do you do? Are you? I am a uh, fashion professor over at University of Northern Iowa. She's and being cool. modest. What's your title? Thanks. I'm the director of the School of Applied <laughs> Human Sciences. <laughs> oh. 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 I love it. Oh. But Woman. my passion is really in the classroom, and I'm a professor of, of textiles and apparel, and I absolutely love teaching. Mm -hmm. But um, Joy um, came and met with me immediately when she moved back to town, and she wanted to get my students involved in helping to put together the Black Student Union Fashion Show. And we started working on it when it was in Lang, and then we worked on it when it moved into the Gallagher. And then last year, it was a really good show last year. Yeah. I think it was over at the now being remodeled, That's right? Yeah, Vincent Center. Um, um, Ramada. And, um, and then we're back again at the Gallagher Ludorn this year. Last year's show, Lori and I were involved together because yes. we, we did have students that were in the lab creating empowerment brands that went on the stage. So a lot of the role that I've been is helping my students help younger students. I think mentoring is the key to um, really moving people into um, careers, making them feel like they can do things. There's that big saying from the, ast the female astronaut, you can't be what you can't see. Mm -hmm. When we have our older students at UNI mentoring to younger students, suddenly it seems doable. Exactly. And so I think when they were helping with those empowerment brands um, for the younger students, and then my students went and watched the show, it was really exciting. It it's good exciting. for both the older and younger students. Mm -hmm. So exactly. I've played a role of pulling UNI into a community and um, campus event and getting the students involved. And um, we've done a lot with doing um, teaching students computer-aided design, uh, making sure that they're, they're aware of the science behind fashion. And mm -hmm. um, Mayor Hart's actually been in our lab helping students design <laughs> prints. Wow. Design bow ties? Yeah, yeah. we design okay. bow ties for Mayor Hart. Uh, so, um, but I think that's kind of my, my role, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so now, this hands-on approach that you're talking about sounds like a perfect segue for you to give us some information about SHIFT. Well, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let um, our Joy substitute give yes, the overview. Yes, I was going to say she That's great. Because yes. Joy, I want to yes. give a, Joy needs a real round and of applause. Yeah, yes. yes. I was going to talk about <laughs> I'm almost glad that Joy's not here because Joy wouldn't toot her own she, horn. She needs the to way that I'm going to toot her yeah. horn. And Joy's energy it. level is like you talk about mine. Her level is insane, and the and we were talking about this, and this is what you all have to understand. We were having a conversation, and she's kind of tossing out, wouldn't it be you can't great? Do that I know, because she would get you she busy so it. fast <laughs> because she, she was talking it through, and I didn't realize that's what was happening because we were just talking about something. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, it would be great to have these professionals come and really mentor some of yeah. our kids and really incubate some of these talents. She's like, wouldn't that be great if I called some like leaders from other states and executives of color? And wouldn't it be cool if they, and it's so I'm cooking and on the phone, like, uh-huh, girl, yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> Literally four days later, she emails Literally. me and is like, look, I talked to, and I was like, oh, I'm still thinking, so in a couple so years. So she's while you're sleeping. In right? a couple <laughs> years, maybe she'll pull this off. Mm -hmm. That next month, 
she had she had flushed it out and it was so ready. Well, she has it all ready. She has, She's got like, it all put she together. She has everything <laughs> together. <laughs> the, the piece that is important about shift is representation matters. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. You can't be what you can't see. Representation yeah, matters. Yeah. And this list of not of not only local leaders and local young people in engaging with the kids but national leaders Mm. there's going to be some powerhouse people coming Mm. back and people that were from here that left Mm -hmm. and are going to come home there are lawyers business executives some salaried people that can come Mm -hmm. and show our kids what's possible and that part is so cool joy has traveled a lot she 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 has an extensive military background Mm. she has an event plan- planning background. Yes. She was in the Cedar Rapids schools, but Waterloo yeah! school. Yeah! Exactly Waterloo. All right. So we brought another one home. This is oh, one of yes, those things it. that's going to strengthen our community we need because it's going to strengthen what our kids see as possible mm-hmm. and right. what they feel like they can do. Now, what's cool about this, too, is it's over a period of time. And so there's the con- conference itself over these t- two days during March 27th Fashion and Week. Yes, so March this 27th is and 28th. Actually, yes, and Agnes has that even up Oh, here. you got it up So there. we yes. have mm-hmm. the date and everything. And so she's coming back. I think we have her booked on the 27th Definitely. to come back. And maybe you guys will be a part of that as well. Yes. And there's but, an yeah, incubator we'll piece that. to this, too. So it's not like it's just a – every reference I was going to say is not appropriate. But it's not just a quick thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's and it these kids will have a re relationship not only with some of these leaders oh. but with each other. Yes. And, and so they can friends. incubate these talents exactly. and incubate exactly. these exactly. skills. Yes. Well and it will go and on have- throughout it launches. This is the launch. Yes. And sure. then they go into a whole range of programs happen. which Lori exactly. can talk about over right. at UniQ yeah, which gonna- um, our entrepreneur center at UNI is helping with and so um Lori, why don't you talk about that? No, we have right. comments. Oh, yeah. it's our show. <laughs> <laughs> we are the ones that tell people yeah, you made a mistake <laughs> bringing an ad in here. <laughs> I like to do that Now sometimes. you know me. <laughs> okay. No, no. Last time I okay. get to <laughs> no, because no, once we get her started, it may not said, be no yeah, turning back. That's right. That's right. Ryan, we do have comments. we got to give our audience a chance to chime in. Good. Gwen Berry says, I see, uh, I sneak so, and listen at the job. It's so worth it. <laughs> love these women. Oh, thank you. We love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yeah. Shelby Offord says, all right now, family. All, all right. right. <laughs> Phil Bank says, this is a very lively. <laughs> it just says that. Yes. yes. Yep, we yes. are like yes, very things. lively. And, you know, we, st- we got a little bit of talking to do with her. We got to sing happy birthday. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure uh, you can look at our wall to find the dates of the things that we've talked about. But first, Zion, we forgot to ask you. And I like to keep you interacting, too. So we want to ask you a question about black history in the schools. Do you feel that you're being taught what you need to know about black history and some of the things that we talk about on the show are you familiar with those things no i am not and the only reason why i say that is because we use outdated textbooks Mm. which don't really go over what was going on they go over it for a childlike view and so they cover the basics of what we already know and so they don't tell us like all the gruesome things that were happening and they don't really go through it. And the only reason why I know so much personally is because my mom has taught me. Yes. And so just having conversations like, for example, in my journalism class, we're looking at this black history paper. Shout out to Ms. Cook, class. yes. And so they're just teaching us different things that were happening. And a lot of things I know, but a lot of my classmates don't. Okay. Yeah. And so I feel as if they kind of just skim over it and they mm. spend like a month over slavery when it was over almost 400 years. 400 to 30, yeah. 300 years. Like, yeah. that's a long time in American history. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm, we'd like to thank, we hope your teachers are listening. I'm sorry, no, I didn't mm-hmm. mean to. I hope your teachers are listening and maybe incorporate more black history. Yes. I want to shout out Miss Cook, though. She's oh. covering 1619 right now. That's, oh. 1619. that's what, that's what is so the, good. Yeah. Exactly. Um, 
the 1600s all the way up to the 1800s is what we're doing right now in class. Wow. Mm-hmm. And awesome. shout out to her. Good. And... and good. I wanted to say something else, but I'll be good. No, go ahead. No, because it's, it's almost your turn. It's, 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 it, it should is. be. It's our it show, you know. Is. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Lori. Why don't now we we hate to switch gears like that, but you know we I have time mm-hmm. allotment. I, I just so. really want to say that we're greater than just slavery. Thank you. Yes. We are scientists say beyond that. everything has been touched mm-hmm. uh, from the cell phone to. Mm-hmm. Open heart surgery. We've done so many great things, and we're not re- recognized for mm-hmm. it. And our students, especially our black students, are not aware. Right. And so that really uh, disturbs me that we don't know who we are mm-hmm. as blacks, mm-hmm. right. especially in America. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So. so we're going to do a special and just really talk about some great things like that. But for now, awesome. why don't we talk about what Annette was trying to pass Absolutely. the baton for? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> so... After the launch, we're going to have six to eight weeks of what you call it, the incubator. Yes. Right? And I am uh, privileged to actually choose the students. And I've actually, we're going to hone it, hone, I can't even get the word out. Hone it. Hone it down to 80 students for the actual conference, but then we're going to pick 60 to go on to the next step, which is 60 students. And in that, they're going to be able to create something. Mm. It's either going to be an object or some form of uh, professional pitch, and they're going to pitch it like Yes. Oh, so it's Shark nice. Tank. Yeah. Like, like Shark, Shark Tank. tank. Yes. Oh, I so love I'm it. so excited. Uh, so my students and Upper Bound students Look out. I'm coming for you. I'm okay. Coming for you. Awesome. For you. Look out and for you've them. got to let us go there. We'd love to go live for oh, those. Please. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would be really good. What pitches. they're doing. And, and, yeah. yes. Do you know what's cool about this, too, I think? You know how we always hear, well, not, I can't say we always hear, but how there's this rhetoric of people don't work together and nobody oh. hooks up to do something. This is taking so many pieces that mm-hmm. out of passion mm-hmm. and are giving and Cedar Falls and Waterloo, yeah. oh. you and I, the, the, mm-hmm. the different parts are coming together collaboratively. There are some amazing things mm-hmm. that are happening with just people simply reaching out saying, this is what we want to do. Yeah. Who wants to be down? Mm-hmm. Do you want to do this? Because this is what we're doing for our kids. And yes. so this is like, they have been meeting. Don't, I'm just literally, I want to join his friends. And I know all the pieces right. of this. Right. But these women have been meeting and been sharing emails and making, well, y'all too. But mm-hmm. there's a ton of people involved yeah, ton. in this. But it's so collaborative that it's a beautiful thing seeing people of different backgrounds ages locations all Mm -hmm. coming together Mm -hmm. because that's one like joy is a great connector Mm -hmm. yeah joy can create such synergy she and Uh she'll sometimes she'll suck you into stuff and then be like oh this is for you and then back out of it because you left me a few times and said this would be a great idea for you and i'll hook all these parts up but when so. she wants to do something, the synergy that she can create and the part you guys have she's been here before. Oh yeah. She has that same yeah. type of energy too. And the so sweetest it's really cool. smile and the best disposition. So now know? if anybody wants to find out more information about this as it's ongoing or the whatever. Shift program. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll have it on our wall. We'll make sure to post mm-hmm. it in the comments as well. You can okay. find you Joy will. or I. Or Annette on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I work at UNIQ. Joy works for the school system now. Annette works for UNI. Keep it simple. Go to North End Update. There it is. Rocky and Shaviva. Because you might, they (laughs) might, you know, I'm just saying, because we will definitely share anything that you share with us. It'll be on our wall. And you can go there. Or if you know Lori and and Annette or Felicia, Mm -hmm. please go there. But yeah, we will definitely, definitely tie it all together. Okay. Okay. I just want to say, Shout out a few people though. Oh, um, that's helping us. Yeah. I know oh, you're trying sure. to run your own show, but we no. and then I have taken over. Uh, <laughs> I would like to give a shout out to George Phillips and James mm. Lee for allowing us to utilize the Boys and Girls Club and collaborating with us. Mm. Also, the Carlos Anderson. There's some other people I know I'm forgetting. Oh, Brittany. 
Brittany Perkins, Perkins is, is a, amazing. Oh, well, and Brittany is actually an intern. Um, I, she's doing this for um, course study work at UNI. She's one of our alums. And um, I have to shout out Kiara Phillips. Kiara is coming all the way from back uh, yes. from Portland, Oregon. She's in okay. the fashion vendor at Amazon. Um, That's amazing. She's just an amazing success story. Wow. She graduated from our program, and she's giving back. I think what this event is really about in many ways is people who have been successful coming back to our community yes. and giving back to our community and yes. Kiera symbolizes that as a 20 under 40 mm-hmm. award winner and um, again joy is just so good at inspiring that give back yes mm-hmm. yes I and i'd like to say that now that i've met you it makes perfect sense that you're into fashion because i was like who is that one woman jackets and a hat always looking yeah. nice sharp jackets and a hat mm-hmm. that's her <laughs> and shoes and shoes yes. I I any you. comments yes i was just about to put that up nia shindig says hey family nia hey nia uh, Charles, Shin, uh, Charles Jefferson says, <laughs> Felicia, maybe we can uh, kick. I don't know this. I don't think you finished this comment. <laughs> maybe we could um, <laughs> oh, get together and talk it. about some things. Maybe uh, we could all kickstart a Juneteenth celebration for this there. year or next year. Should There's something in the works for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, Make it big. Yeah. Make it big. Yeah. Make it okay. big. Okay. okay, birthday people. Woo! Mm-hmm. We know you're out there, beautiful people, and we want to make sure you get the right song today because we got the Felicia Smith Nalls. Yes, And she's going to sing a solo. Woo. We want you to sing the whole song, <laughs> oh, not just the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we like to sing this TV version, Wonder Version, but we're going to shout out too. To Jacob Lampman, Jacob. happy birthday! Yay. Yay. Anita yes. Clark, yes, Liddell yes. Mardrain, yes. right, Jeff Swela and Al Pierce, right, awesome. and also Pastor Deborah Burke, woo, okay. Herbert Mabry, all right, Louise Rogers, Clint Shepard, James Johnson, Lucille Bunch, hey, hey, happy and birthday. Uh, Gladys <laughs> Ben <laughs> Sorry, Sorry ben Gladys if we sort of butchering your name. Yes. Uh, Leon Mosley, yes. Vanna White. Whitest. Whitest. Wh- Whitest. Okay. Robert C. Oliver and Ronald McClo- McClemore. Right. All right. Happy birthday, beautiful people. Birthday. Yes. yes. And we just don't like to say happy birthday because we just love you so much. We like to sing it and we like yeah, to invite absolutely. famous people to sing for you. Yes. So take it away. No. <laughs> happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Oh, wow. Happy birthday to the people. Nice. That's the best we've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. yes. Every day. <laughs> right. It's all month for me, so thank you, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> We want to encourage everybody here to watch next week's show, Shaviva, when we have... Yes, we will have Dusky Steele, who was with us in our pre-show, Woo. and also Val McDonald. Don't oh. miss it. Right. Don't miss She's it. another Don't miss it. Right, right. And we yeah. got some other people, too, I think, but we might... We missed our meeting. Oh. <laughs> we, so we've got some other people as well. Rodney Anderson is on deck. Woo! Rodney! we got lots Woo. of great people coming on. Did you have something, Zion? No, I was just cheering with y'all. Oh, All right. <laughs> okay, we love it when Zion can chime in a little bit. So, ladies, are all hearts and minds clear? Yes. Yeah, yes, we are. Indeed. We're in the zone. Okay. You, mean, you don't have anything else to say? You don't have anything else to say? <laughs> I could. And I know you could go say. some more, <laughs> but okay. no. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you all for watching today, as always. And until next time, keep doing more of what makes you awesome. Because it makes us all look good. See you next time. What about my one?